Hey YouTube, it's Joanne here, and today I wanted to bring you a quick video. I wanted to show you a little project that I had finished a couple of weeks ago, actually did this project live on Periscope. So you're not following me over on Periscope, you're missing out on a really good time. I hit this problem that I came up with a solution and between the help of some of my people, some of my followers on Periscope, they helped me uh, put this together. So the big problem was, is that in my bedroom, I don't have, I have a dresser with a mirror, but the dresser is not meant to like sit at. It doesn't have like an opening like that you could sit in like a desk. It's not like a vanity. And I really don't have a good place to put on my makeup in the morning. So uh, at times I'm stuck running from my bedroom into my bathroom to put on using the light in my bathroom. Or, or sometimes I'll come in here at my desk and put my makeup on here at my desk with my makeup mirror with some of the natural light that I have coming through the window. But regardless, I'm constantly carrying my makeup from one room to the other. So when I was on Periscope, I was in the I was in the process of like de de stashing, decluttering all of my makeup, getting rid of bad stuff. Uh, you know, sorting out the things I like, the things I don't like, really paring down all of my makeup. I went through all of my makeup that was in my bedroom. And what I did was I put together a makeup basket that I can easily car that I could easily keep stored away and have it look pretty. And I can either keep it in my bedroom, I can keep it in here, I can bring it downstairs if I needed to run downstairs with it for some reason. Because at times I do videos at, in different parts of my house, and it's just easier for me to be able to carry everything I need to be able to uh, put on my face. So without further ado, I'm going to show you my makeup basket. So here is my makeup basket. This basket is vintage. It was from my grandmother, and she used to always bring it to family get-togethers and family reunions whenever she was to bring a dish to pass. So um, what there was like a, a, a wooden insert to kind of separate the two areas of the basket, but I took the wooden insert out because I didn't really need it for this purpose. But what I've done is, I'm just going to open it up for you. Ta-da! So what I've done, and I'm going to kind of arrow this, I'm going to kind of point the camera a little bit down now so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so what I have done basically is I just took scraps of fabric that I had, uh, I had actually just hanging around my craft room. They were from a quilting bundle that I won at, at funny enough, a family gathering. And uh, I'm not a quilter, I'm not a sewer. You can tell all as I did was just folded it up and I just hot glued it inside to, to decorate around the edge. I also took a uh, container from the, the fabric professioners from the Dollar Tree and I just covered that also. And this, by the way, this smells amazing and this makes my whole thing inside here smell amazing. But this is where I just keep my brushes. I keep uh, an extra Color Mates lipstick, which I can put some on right now. There we go. My favorite Color Mates Dollar Tree lipstick. And I just, you know, have some brushes and stuff in here. And so I'll go through and I'll show you what I, I have in here. And because I want to show you the bottom, how I actually covered a magazine to kind of reinforce the bottom. So the only thing I have in here is I have a two-sided mirror that has the 1X and then the 3X magnification. I have some e.l.f. makeup wipes. And I got these at the Dollar Tree, vanilla and coconuts. I have some tissues. I have the Dollar Tree Beauty Blender. I have two original beauty blenders. And by the way, this is the Sassy and Chic one. These are a little bit softer, but this works just as good, in my opinion, as these. So for the price of it, I think I'm going to stock up on these. And yes, they need to be cleaned. I have some uh, Smooth Criminal Translucent Powder that I got from 
I think it was a Ipsy box last year. I'm just going to take these out for a minute. And I also used these. Are These were Dollar Tree little organizers. And so in here I have my, my favorite. This is my eyeshadow primer. I have concealer. The Rimmel Match Concealer. Uh, this is just some eye cream. This is my primer. And then I have my uh, Naked Skin by Urban Decay BB Cream. So I have that inside of that container. On the sides here, I have my, uh, these are, these are my recent purchases, but I don't really use, I don't really use that, this, this, this much because of the summertime. Uh, my face is so dry. This is a fair neutral. It's the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. I find that in the summertime, cream foundations work better on me, but sometimes I use this as a covering, but I have used quite a bit of it. I just, I hit pan, but there's still a lot more to use on that. So this I just keep, instead of carrying it in my purse with me, I just keep this in my morning stuff. I have my, in my morning basket, I have my Too Faced Boudoir Eyes, where people who follow me on Periscope show that I hauled this, uh, I hauled this on Periscope, but I love these colors. The only thing I don't like about this is, sorry for the glare, the only thing I don't like about this is that I feel it has a lot of fallout on that, so you have to be really careful putting that on. Also making sure that you use a primer to put that on. I have some face sponges inside of a Dollar Tree container. And then you can see down at the bottom here, this is the this is the actual reinforced. It's a different color, but it's actually a Martha Stewart magazine covered in fabric. And then I have my favorite blush in a backup. It's the Sunkiss Tan Color Mates. I get this at the Dollar Tree whenever I see them, I stock up because I love this blush. And I also have my bronzer, which I've hit pan on. This is from e.l.f. I like it because it has the four colors. If you want to go lighter or go dark, darker, or you can kind of swirl it together to do a mixed. I also like the e.l.f. toner correcting powder. I use this all the time too. Love those. Those are in here. Uh, not much left, but this is a little bit left of um, some cream foundation from e.l.f. I don't like to throw anything out, so I'm still trying to figure out how to get the rest of that out. Some Dollar Tree palettes. My favorite Dollar Tree palettes I keep in here to use so that I, if I want to play with some colors. I have this one that's got lots of sparkle. And I have this one that is not even used that's even sparklier. So I have those in case I want to play with color. But my favorite by all means eyeshadows are in here and it is the milani uh, colored pink i got this from the dollar tree i got these three milani baked eyeshadows i love these i got that at dollar tree i got that one that has all different kinds of colors this is like mermaid colors at the dollar tree and then i got this one that's very goldy at the dollar tree again this dollar tree you guys, I use a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to open these up so you guys can take a look at them quick and see the shimmer on them. That's that one. This one is called uh, Drenched in Gold. This one is called Green Fortune, but it has all different kinds of colors in it. And this one is called Fusion. Okay. Now, for my favorite, 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 favorite eyeshadows are these L'Oreal Paris uh, eyeshadows, infallible eyeshadows. And the one, the colors that I get are, and these come in these little pods. So let's just start with this one. Iced Latte, this one is called. And these are like, these are kind of like a powder. Okay, so it has the little protector on it. So I use, that's Iced Latte. This one is called Amber Rush. I love that for a contour. 
And then the last one here is Eternal Sunshine. And that's kind of like the the third. I like to use those three. I always use those three together. So my favorite, so I kept my favorite eyeshadows. I keep them right in here so I can use them on, uh, you know, like on a daily basis. My, my most... My most my most common looks, I use a combination of these type of eyeshadows. I do like, I do a lot of neutrals. Okay, so I'm going to put these back in, and then we'll move to what's over on the side. Uh, the other thing I had, the other thing I had was a little mini container of brushes that I use um, all the time. These are just a bunch of different they're like small brushes, all different kinds of sizes. Um, a lot of them are eco tools. I love eco tools. I use them all the time. I just love the way these brushes work and the way they feel. So I keep them inside of this is like an old Mary Kay case. I keep them right here on top of my eyeshadows. We'll put my extra. We'll put my extra foundation here. And then let me just put all this stuff back in here really quick. And that is it. So I pretty much can carry this with me wherever I go. And I have a I have a mirror in there that I can use. Yeah. That is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Joanne. Nice to meet you. If you're new, why don't you hit that big red subscribe button down below and then you'll get notified as to when I upload videos because honestly, I have not been very consistent lately. I try. I do try. But in the meantime, follow me on all my other social media, Joanne Plans on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Periscope. That's where you can keep up with me over on Periscope. I also have a private Facebook group. So for those of you who are subscribed to my channel and you're interested in connecting with other subscribers of my channel, why don't you search Joanne Plans on Facebook, request access, and I will let you into the Facebook group. That is it for me today, guys. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I'm going to chat with you in my next video. Bye, guys.